Greetings and namaste. This is Shiva, your friendly neighborhood, wellness co-creator and guide coming at you with my mission, wellness for all, for you, for me, for everything and everyone we touch. So um, today's topic is about forgotten wellness rituals. What does that bring up for you? Wellness brings up something, right? Hopefully a feel-good feeling. That's what wellness means. Feeling good. And not just one part good, like everywhere good. Ritual. Something that has meaning, has significance. It is not just a blind thing one does. It's done with love, with maybe an element of sacredness to it. It's something that we do not wanting to rush through it you know, um, taking a, a morning shower just to get into the car quicker or just because um, it's a way to get us clean is not a ritual. It is how we approach that morning shower. If it's a cold shower meant to get us whoop, awake like that from our sleepiness or excesses of the night before or the late night, or the long day of the last day that passed by. That could be a ritual. It's a quick ritual, but it's got intention, meaning, purpose. And one feels vitalized at the end of it. One feels maybe calmer at the end of it, if it's a meditation practice you're doing. One feels more centered, more complete to take on the day. Um, and then forgotten. What does forgotten mean? I'm kind of going back to some of those those habits we cultivated, those rituals that we used to do, but no longer do. For example, for me, when's the last time, um, I was thinking about this the other day, when's the last time I laid down on rich, thick, lush grass? Just on my back, like that, and looked up at the sky, looked up at the clear blue sky, looked up at the shapes of the clouds drifting slowly by. When did I last do that? When did I last take time for that? Well, that takes me back to um, like my childhood home and that front yard and my, my littler self, if you will, my more childlike wondrous self and that's what I forgot that's what I forgot so think about what is your forgotten ritual what is it that used to do that you used to do that used to fill your cup that used to make you more creative more vital more full of life more connected not disconnected more in harmony with your entire being, not having your mind be separated from your heart, be separated from your somatic experience. But what pulled that all together into this cohesive, brilliant, sparkling, joyful whole? Share, please, um, what maybe this thought brings up for you. Maybe make it a, the seed of your meditation practice today or contemplation practice today or journaling practice today or reflection practice today or pause today. As you take that deep breath, just think. What is a forgotten self of me that I want to tap into today? That I want to remember and maybe celebrate by trying out today? that note, I take your leave. This is Shiva signing off for now. My message, wellness for all. And P.S. This is October, so my promise was to do a video every day for the month of September, which is not quite the month of September because I think I started on the 8th of September technically. But I put out more than one video on some days, so I kind of absolved myself of both that and yesterday where I just decided to take 
a rest from the video. Um, I just decided to see how doing a non-video day got me. Um, and on that note, we'll see how October goes. If you have any ideas for me as to what October should bring, put them in the comments below. It's the first. It's, it's a more meaningful start than maybe some others. It's the last quarter of the year. But, but yeah, give me some ideas. Play with that forgotten ritual self. Let's meet, meet you sooner than later.